Here we take a look at how particles collect in filters. My name is Tom Peters and I am from the University of Iowa. In filters, dirty air somehow passes through and comes out cleaner. Particle size plays an important role in collection efficiency, with some particles hitting the filter and being collected, while others pass through. For a moment, I want us to consider a single fiber in the filter. The airflow bends as it moves around the fiber. Large particles, depicted in green, have a high probability of hitting the fiber due to inertia. Small particles in red also have a high probability of hitting due to Brownian motion. However, medium-sized particles in orange typically follow airflow streamlines and tend to go with the flow. The combined effect of diffusion and impaction results in a collection efficiency curve that is typical of filters. Here I show particle collection efficiency by particle size. The purple curve is typical of a low efficiency filter like a low-cost furnace filter. High collection is achieved for very small particles, say 10 nanometers, due to diffusion, and for large particles, larger than 5 micrometers, due to impaction. However, the lowest collection efficiencies occur for particles in the middle size range, about 300 nanometers, because diffusion and impaction have the least effect on these size particles. Some filters, known as high efficiency particulate air filters, or HEPA filters, shown in magenta, are designed to have high collection efficiency. However, even for these filters, the lowest collection efficiency occurs for a particle with a diameter of approximately 300 nanometers, a size associated with low diffusion and inertial forces. However, with good design, collection efficiency of a HEPA filter is typically 99% or greater even for this particle size.